About four years ago, we made some thermite. We bought iron oxide and aluminum powders, mixed them up, and lit it off with a fuse. It was our first major chemistry experiment and helped us kickstart ourselves down a hobbyist's science path. After the reaction had finished, we gathered the chunks of pure iron metal that had poured out in the molten globs from the reaction, and we stored them as trophies. Now, about four years later, we took that iron out of storage and converted it back to iron oxide with acid and oxidizer, and made thermite from it once again, like a phoenix rising from the ashes. Like a thermite phoenix. A phoenix thermite. Yeah. Now the first step to converting iron, iron slag back to thermite was to dissolve the iron we had recovered from the first thermite. This was easily done with concentrated hydrochloric acid, in our case, 32% from pool cleaner. Now, with our old iron redissolved, we could more easily affect it chemically. To get it from a chloride to an oxide, however, we had to increase its ionic charge first. Our iron chloride had a charge of 2 currently, but we needed a charge of 3 for iron 3 oxide. So, how did we do this, Sam? Well, Gabe, I'm glad you asked. With an oxidizer, something that has an excess of electrons, and something that is preferably easy to find such as hydrogen peroxide. With the iron 2 chloride converted to iron 3 chloride in our bath by hydrogen peroxide, it was time to convert the chloride to an oxide. Finally, by adding sodium bicarbonate, we could then release the iron as insoluble iron oxide, iron hydroxide, and a few other iron compounds while creating soluble sodium salts, which we then decanted off. Then, once we had that, the iron oxide and hydroxide mixtures, we could then heat them up boil them off, and then break down the iron hydroxides and carbonates into iron oxides. With our iron restored to its former oxidized glory, we were ready to make thermite once again. Look inside here. Now you see that gray color? That there be some aluminum powder that you got right here. Right? What's under it? Iron oxide. That's right. You know the, the the dealio. Oh wait, is that the stuff? That's that's the iron. Oh okay. So yeah. we're gonna. This is the iron oxide. It's 100 Three. grams of iron oxide to 33 grams of aluminum. Yes, because it's a supposed to be a three to one ratio. That's correct. So now we've got those put in there. Now let's get a good mix on. All right. Or approximately should... a 2.96, but nobody cares. Nobody cares. Uh, we have a slight excess, so it actually works in our favor. Yeah. Um, you know they prove that aluminum doesn't. Cost that's true. A medical study was done to show that there is no connection between aluminum and It's still not good to breathe in metal dust. It's a very common belief, and it freaks people out when they see aluminum powder. Um, but breathing in metal dust is just generally not advisable. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, yes. Just be Gabe. Just be Gabe. If everyone were Gabe, we'd have no problems. We would have the greatest world. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's go burn. Stick on pokey fire. Pokey on fire. Gabe, you're gonna ruin the pokey. Guys, this is lava. Like basically, yeah. I can you can feel the heat. It is here. really hot. The camera is warm right now. You can see the stick itself is actually on fire. Watch, I wanna use the 
Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's so hot it can ignite the gas just by being near so it. So this isn't your regular, like, coal hot. Yeah, this is much hotter than coal. Check it, there's some, uh, the glass. The glass left over. Break apart one of these chunks right there. This looks like the beginning of a Terminator so movie. Break these damn. chunks apart. You can yeah. see some of the red hot iron. See, the iron will spark when it reaches oxygen, reforming iron oxide. And then notice the white coloring, that's from the aluminum oxide form. Aluminum oxide is the basis for most ceramics. It's an extremely chemically stable compound. And so we're left over with this crumble of aluminum oxide. Mmm. Mmm. I've missed that smell. Me too. Sulfur. Hi. Welcome back to a dump. <laughs> Today, <laughs> we're talking about Phoenix cut stuff. <laughs> 